What's up? This is Demrick. Jamie Madge Rock. Man, this is your man's OB Trice. This is Adlib. Yo, what up? This is Specs One. This is Fresh K. Hot Rock's the motherfucking Scrat MC. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio out here. This is Breaking Records Radio. Check them out, man. Um, yeah. We will move it forward a little bit, though. Like I said, like I'd love to get you on the phone another time and just talk history because there's so much of it. But um, you currently are promoting a new EP you just put out called Six Pack. Well, it, it's the Six Pack from the Billy Dance Project. Okay, so is the Billy Dance Project's upcoming then? And it's like it's not. It's, yeah, yeah, and it's not. It's not actually an EP. I've heard people call it an EP, but it's not an EP. It's my version. Of a single Okay Okay You know what I'm saying Yeah but, You know So the Billy Dance Project Is, is actually the album That you, we will uh, That I'll put out Later on Yep uh, But right now I need to give you My version of the single Which is the six pack Ah uh, Self explanatory Is six uh, Banging joints on there You know what I won't even I won't even say banging I'll let You decide Or the public decide Exactly what it is uh, but it, I put six records on there uh, so people can enjoy uh, from different angles. Of course, I covered the MOP ground. Um, yeah, and, and you know it, it's out now. People are enjoying it. I mean, dude, we we really appreciate. It, you know what I'm saying? Like we're, we're actually uh, the the feedback has been tremendous. So, yeah, that's I'm dope, man. It. I like that because, like, you know, back in the days, you actually used to cop singles, and there would be B-sides and stuff, and you don't really get that with the game anymore. So I think that's cool how you kind of put your twist on a single, but instead of getting the acapella and all that other stuff, you you just get six joints. Right. Yeah, that's well, cool. You know, yeah, well, you know, I mean, uh, yourself, like, you can have all the passes, the, the acapella, the instrumental, the cleans, the dirties, you know what I'm saying? You can have that. Yeah. Uh, guys that's in your position have that but you know, I don't want to throw that all out to the public like that because um, for whatever reason right <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, just certain people are privileged to that um, that's why you have it and you know a few others have it and that's it that's dope man well I appreciate that first off um, yeah, man, that that's real cool, and I was glad to see you put out something uh, solo as well too because if I'm not mistaken this is the first solo venture you've done yes, yeah. ever and we really like I've been trying to do it for the longest. It's just, I mean, understand how hard it is not to create solo records, but the thought of having a solo record after being a part of not just any group, but almost the world's most incredible group for all of this time. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it, it, was, it was a little bit weird. So I, I really started this process years ago where... You know, I had done some records and put them out. I even did a record with uh, with Rich Kid out of Toronto. Oh, word. He, um, okay. Yeah, Rich Rich Kid produced a record uh, for myself featuring Busta Rhymes, which is called Undescribable, which is a banging record. Oh, shit. Um, I haven't even heard yeah, that. Right. I'll have to check that. Yeah, 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 look it up. It's called, it's called Undescribable. You might find it. I mean, it'll be Billy Dance featuring Busta Rhymes, or you might find it the other way. Bill, uh, Busta Rhymes featuring Billy Dance, but it's my record produced by a rich kid. So this was some, some time ago. I've been trying to get this done, but something kept pulling me away and going back to complete MOP albums, which I'm not really uh, mad about at all, but um, it I don't want to say hindered me. It's just I wasn't ready to jump all the way out there, but now... Um, you know, I got my legs under me, and I'm ready to go on this on this solo thing. And solo, by the way, solo doesn't mean I'm on my own. The group is broken up because every record on this uh, on the six pack, like if Fame didn't approve it, then it wouldn't be on the six pack. Oh, dope! So he kind of executive produced it then. Anything I do is executive producing. Word, dope, dope. <laughs> his, his, his opinion matters much more than anyone else's. Yeah, you know what I mean. So if he says it's not cool, if he says it's not a go, then it's not a go. Dope, man. And, um, yeah, because yeah, you even got fame on it, too, right? On the one joint, so. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got fame and Teflon on the joint. Yeah, 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 true. Yeah, Teflon on there, too. What, what is that the first joint you, fame, and Teflon have done in, like, a while? No, see, again, like, I want to make sure people understand, like, we haven't, there's, there's no conflict inside, and you know, internally with yeah. the group. So we do records. We just do records and, and place them where we need to place them and set them up to put out when we need to put them out. It's just right now it's not time to put them out. And we are working on an MOP album as well, too. So Okay, dope. Um, you know what I mean? So, 
Uh, we always work it, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. You guys. Well, that's one thing. You guys do consistently work, like throughout the years. I can't really think of a period of time where MOP wasn't putting out music. Right. right. Like not I mean, no I mean, no hiatus is I can really now think a hiatus, of. Even what we would call a hiatus to the general public, it wouldn't be a hiatus. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, because we we'll, we'll already have joint stockpiled and, get, and ready to go. Yeah, exactly. And then you guys just yeah. mash out, throw them all out, right. and you kind of like just That's take right. over the underground for a bit with consistent music again. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Word, man. Um, so, one thing I did notice about the project that I was curious about <clears throat> there wasn't any of the uh, traditional MOP producers on there. Like, there was, uh, I, Fizzy didn't do a joint on there. Um, DR, um, Primo, um, ha- like, how did you acquire the producers for this? Was it kind of like a new angle you were trying to kind of create your own sound so you work with some new producers kind of thing, or? Well, no, uh, I wasn't trying to create. I mean, I'm an artist, though. I do what comes to me. Yeah. Um, like, I worked with huge producers, as you already know. I worked with huge artists. Um, but I, I want to work on what feels good to me at the moment yeah so if it could be from whoever the biggest producer is um it may not work for me monday yeah you know what i mean maybe joey mafia or um g wiz or quincy tone you know what i'm saying or school lover uh excuse me johnny famous maybe that one of the beats from those guys worked for me Monday. Yeah. And I'm not going to stop my process. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go when it, when, it's, when it's time to go. So, And then I always like helping out. You know what I mean? There's a lot of dudes with talent out there that uh, people don't see because they're so focused on um, the people that don't really need their money or don't really need their attention because they're already out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I, like, I like working with the underdog. Uh, but as you can see, even though these these guys are not so well known, their production game is is up to par. So they can yeah. hang with the best ones. So you know, and they gave me dope beats, and I was feeling, you know, what they were doing at that moment, what they have done at that moment. So I was like, you know what, let's get to it. Yeah. All right, man. So, um, do you have any personal favorites on the new six pack that uh, just you know they just hit you a certain way? I think. <clears throat> I think well, I love them all to be honest, uh, but I think Halle Berry. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, and I'm probably just saying that today, right? Like Halle yeah. Berry may be my favorite right now, <laughs> but then tomorrow could be Whopping. Yeah, like, yeah. Man, I don't know. I mean, Whopping is so to me. It's the fresh. It's like uh, what what the my business partner called it. Uh, uh, flashback to the future. Okay, I think that's what he called it—a flashback to the future. Um, meaning, you know, the younger audience can can uh, can vibe to it because it's kind of got a different kind of swing from old school. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But lyrically, content-wise, and I guess kind of the the rap pattern kind of works for both uh, a older generation and a newer generation yeah. and then the the whole whopping you know we know where that comes from years ago that the big record that was out called called whopping and they kind of used that same which I think they sampled it but I kind of did it live that whole whopping whopping I did that live um, and it kind of it kind of bridges the gap between the old and the new for me yeah um and to, to actually do a record with my boy school who grew I grew up in his you know we grew up in the same neighborhood I mean I know his mother really well we know each other's family really well and um, so to do a record with him as long as we've both been in the business we've never really actually did a record together so I think yeah I think that's my favorite right now bro fire <laughs> <laughs> yeah I needed help with that one brother right on top hey Yo, what's up? It's your man, MLNY Maloney, Breaking Records, Breaking Records Radio. You know what it is. I'm just here to tell you guys right now that you want to, if any of my smokers out there, basically, any of my Canadian smokers, now that it's legal, what you got to do is you got to head over to thccollection.com and check them out. And make sure you use the promo code HIPHOP, that's H-I-P-H-O-P, and that's all capital letters. Save 10% on every purchase that you make. 
anytime. They got everything. They got deals every single day of the week, which include like free whatever with whatever you buy. And uh, my favorite is Tulip Tuesday. You can get $100 ounces. And that's only on Tuesdays. And you save 10% on every purchase with the promo code HIPHOP, all caps. That's H-I-P-H-O-P. So make sure you go over there. Check them out. That's THCcollection.com for all your good medical needs, for all your good greenery, your extracts, and all that good stuff.